Hey, this is Jenny Jones. Wanted to give you step two in your easy startup guide for VBout. Step two is setting up your automation uh, templates and working within automations, right? And um, you can set it, all of your automations will be here, but the best thing to do is start with an automation template. Now, just like I shared with you in step one of your getting started, your step one is really, you need a list for everything you want to do in VBout. You can't do anything coming into VBout. You can't bring anybody in. You can't allow anybody to access any forms unless they have, unless they're a part of a list. So you have to create a list. You have to have the vision in mind. What list do I want them to be a part of? And then you bring them in. But this is on part two. We're going to talk about what happens when you bring them in. You can take them through an automation uh, template. So you can use the automation template here. The easiest one to use is if you're going to do a... Um, if you're going to do an ebook download now ebook download is simple you want to ebooks are great educational materials and marketing people use these for um, lead magnets they provide in-depth information and tips and it's a good an automation for your consumer with the readers and entice them to get into your ecosystem so let's see what that looks like So let me walk you through, let me give you a step-by-step -step on what happens here. So as soon as you go into any one of the automated series, you're gonna see the notes here. The note is pinned here. It tells you what it's for. It says, after uh, filling out your ebook form inside your landing page, an email confirmation will be sent to them, such as a thank you for signing up with a CTA or call to action button to download the ebook. A few days later, you send out another email following up, asking them what do they think and let them know what's coming up. So your automation will not work properly if you do not clearly set up the required um, conditions. And so let's walk through this and let's talk about what happens. So again, join, again, as I shared with you in some other um, setups is you gotta have a trigger first. So just remember it's two, two things to do here when you're setting up an automation or an automation sequence. You, you have to have a trigger. Something has to set it off, right? It's almost like you're, you know, I, I use a bad analogy, but if you, if you've ever watched any of those movies where they say, all right, we have to trip this alarm, you need something to trip the alarm, right? And so those are your triggers. And so they either have to open an email, they have to click on a link, they have to complete an order, they have to join a list or something like that. This particular trigger is they join a list. That's why I said it's important to always have a list set up. So they join a list here. You wait three minutes, you give it three minutes, you give the system, you always kind of get a three three minute wait in there to give the system time to catch up and to formulate and send the emails out. And so once they wait three minutes, then you send out an email. So you got a trigger, which is over here, you got a trigger, then you have your actions. These are your actions, these are the things you can do. So this particular action, we're gonna use a time delay which is three minutes. And what you do is you click on the time delay to tell you how many minutes you wanted to. So we click on that. Hey, I only wanted to delay for three minutes. Then you save, right? Okay. And so this is join. This is join what list did they join? Again, if you set up a form on your site or you accept them on a site, you have to add them to a list. Once a person's added to that list, they wait three minutes and then you send them an email. Inside the email, you create a call to action button. Once they click on that button, that button is gonna allow them to download the PDF book that you sent for them. And then you put in another delay, time delay. This one says, hey, wait five days, right? After five days, then you send them out another email and that email should say, hey, you know, by now you've had an opportunity to look over what we sent you. What are your thoughts? You know, do you want to, you know, upgrade? Do you want us to send you another book? Please click right here, click on this link. Inside that email, you create a link inside of there and that becomes your next action. That becomes your next trigger. Click the link and then that link is embedded inside there and then that becomes your next action. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. Again, this is part two. You gotta get part one to try to get a basis of what happens once you get inside VBout. I'm gonna be putting on a lot of little mini uh, series for this. So you should be able to catch up on it and then take a look at it. Catch the links in the description. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Be safe out there. Goodbye for now.